friend Blueberry. It's been a long, long time. What are you talking about, Strawberry? We had breakfast together. And the clean team is going to sweep you right off the table. Haha, <laughs> I don't think so. The grocery gang will slop you to defeat. I would like to see you try. So would I. And I as well. And me too. Then it is settled. Fine by me. Then here we go then. I'm waiting. As I also am waiting. For your doom. And yours. Uh-oh. Or did you? <laughs> On the table, the grocery gang, your shopping's gone rotten. Clean team street sweeper versus the grocery gang delivery strike motorbike. Each including two exclusive groceries, each compatible with groceries action figures, and each primed for smashy crashy. The grocery gang is going to muck up your clock, Blueberry. I'm Strawberry, and the clean team is going to sweep you up. We'll see about that, Strawberry Stain. Okay, okay, well let's start with the delivery strike motorbike first. Crash and flip delivery strike motorbike from Moose and pizza dripping out of that storage box. On the back of the box, the contents of this toy driving down the road with some flies. The toy features a flip-top pizza box, tip em out groceries, flick and launch missiles, crash and flip handlebars, delivery strike motorbike. Grab your muckiest groceries and jump on the delivery strike motorbike. Make your groceries flip out with this sloppy chopper and launch a surprise splat attack as you cruise through the ooze. It's time for some greasy riding. All right, Strawberry, what say we open this? I'm Blueberry. Okay. And out of the box with the Delivery Strike Motorbike. How's it going, Delivery Strike Motorbike? Oh yeah, I guess I can't talk. But maybe these two little groceries can. By the way, what are these? Anyone venture to know the names? I like the helmet on this one. This one looks like the driver. I think we can get him into the driver's seat. He's got hands that we can actually place over these handlebars. A little stretchy. And at this guy we can store up top maybe. There's a little peg, but actually that's a little smaller. That must be for the action figures maybe. Or maybe just to give him some support before you flip him. And I guess we have these little projectiles. They go up here in the pipes. Like so. Whoops. And there we go. So the first feature would be this back box here. How do we get it to flip? Hmm. Opening and closing. Ah, I see this little pizza over here. It must be about this pizza. Sure enough, it is. So we'll put our grocery up top with the uh, safety helmet on, of course. Hold on to the back of the bike and give your pizza a good press. Ooh, that is one of the best flippers yet. It's all about the right angle, isn't it? I think so. That's pretty fun to do. I'll be looking for that guy for a while. And the pizza box crate in the back should also flip down. And how does that work? It just latches in, it looks like. And that way all your groceries, if they were in there, would spill out. Not bad. Projectile time. These fold down, I believe. Giving you a little more range so the projectiles don't hit the bike, I suppose. And then we gotta figure out where to get our hand in there to do some flicking action. Probably like that. There you go. Sometimes hand power is the best on projectiles, because springs, you never know how strong you're going to get. Now let's try that crash and flip over the handlebars thing. Bring out a couple trash cans. Hope that's enough. I don't think it is. Let's bring out a couple more. 
There's another big one and a couple little ones. Give it some weight. We'll see though, I don't know. This guy might be too light up front. There we go. Okay, now we've got it going. Make sure this little peg and everything is not super tight, maybe factory sealed. Well, let's flip up these pipes again. Okay, I think we're ready now. Yeah, I wanna kinda have it loose for the attack, so let's see here. Okay, first run. A little bit of a bump, but not too much of a flip. But I think this guy might be a little too small. Let's bring out Putrid Pizza. Hello, everyone! All right, let's remove this guy. That is really squishy cheese. Is that cheese? Out of the action figures so far, I really like Putrid Pizza and Gooey Chewy for stuff like this. They just seem to hold on and sit the best. All right, let's give it another try. Still kind of a bump, I just need to make a wall. Let's try this Minecraft collector case. That's pretty solid and strong. So what I'm thinking is, to really get a good crash and flip, you're really going to have to huck this thing. Maybe if I try with him holding the handlebars a little less strong. Okay, this time Putrid Pizza isn't even holding on to the handlebars. That should be plenty to crash and flip him somewhere. As long as he stays on the bike before he crashes. Anybody catch that? Apparently it's Street Sweepers this week on Squirrel Stampede. This is the Grocery Gang Clean Team Street Sweeper. Sweep them up, sweep them out. Includes these two exclusive groceries and also works with groceries action figures. What do you think, Blueberry? I'm Strawberry! So confused. On the back of the box, the contents of this toy. Load the catcher, sweep them in. Crash to escape. Exclusive groceries, wash out, and a grot sock. Why didn't they label the other ones like that? Clean Team Street Sweeper. The clean team is out to suck up the muck and clean up Cheap Town. Will the grocery gang survive the clean team street sweeper? Or can they escape and use their foul force to stink up the street some more? It's icky, it's sticky, it's putrid power. Okay, strawberry and or blueberry, let's open this up. And the clean team street sweeper out of the box, looking very street sweepery. Kind of a different and fun design for a toy. I don't think I've ever really seen something like this before. Let's see how it works. Let's first load in a driver. How about vac attack here? Not much of a front screen there. A little bit tight. Let's take off his backpack. There we go. A little tricky getting his hands on the controls too. Doesn't fit perfectly, but close enough. There we go. Backpack is loaded in. Shiny red matches the redness of the street sweeper. I see lots of points of placement for your groceries on this thing, by the way. A lot more than the bike. Oh, and I guess, of course, washout could have been the driver, too. I forgot, was there a peg for washout at the driver's seat? No, there's no peg, so the bike actually had a peg. But this guy's got such a square base, he could probably sit down there in several spots, so... I'm just going to go with the action figure though. I like doing the combination of action figure and groceries. Looks like we even have a spot up here to place characters. There we go. Although these, since they're harder, they don't want to fit on as well. Well, let's test this thing out. I'm going to need some groceries though. 
How about I quickly open up one of these small packs, see what's inside. We have pukey pumpkin pie, bangers and trash, I bought the pack for scummy soccer ball, and who doesn't want to try a slop bucket? Also very clever. What do we got for the secret grocery? It's a dirty deck. I think that's my second dirty deck. Okay, well now we can try sweeping them up. So let's place them in a line, perhaps. We have a little bit of experience this week with street sweepers again. Move this guy out of the way. And let's give it a whirl. So far, they're just collecting up front. Hard to really get them in. Maybe we should try one at a time. Oh, the soccer ball's going in. All right, soccer ball is in. The trick is just to get it right at that entrance. Inside that entrance, there's a couple rollies. And they are going to roll the guy in, assuming it's a character that'll fit. The ball was a really easy one. See this guy, he's kind of fat and porky. Get him from the side maybe. There we go. And he's in. Thinking this guy should be okay. He's kind of large. There we go. So this is definitely something you are going to need to help get the characters in. Uh, there's probably a select few groceries that we popped right out. There's probably a few select groceries that are going to go in easier than others. But looks like you're going to have to give him a lot of help. I bet this guy's going to go right in because he's just a nice cylinder shape. Although it's just about getting it started. And there it goes inside. Oh, we got to do the sock as well. Might be getting a little crammed in there. All right, they are all in. So you kind of got to work with it. It's not 100% perfect, but it is a little bit different kind of toy. So that makes it a lot of fun. So now this back hatch is just full of groceries back here. They're all stored away. You can kind of hear them inside shaking around. Get us out of here. And now we have to crash again. So let's bring back my nice brick wall here. I think this time I'll take out the trash can so that we don't have anything to uh, get in the way of this accident. Let me push this over just a little bit here. And we're going to go for our first crash, see what happens. And they escape. This back hatch opening up. Looks like we have a couple floors to store your groceries. And they are out of there. That's your back hatch, and it just snaps back shut, fit the groove just right, that little shelf in the groove, and it closes up. Let's try another crash real quick. And they can escape. So that was a fun and silly experience. For a price point of about 15 bucks, this toy delivers pretty well. It's a little bit on the simple side, so you have to play around with the function, but I think there's enough spots of fun play with it. So there we have it, the Grocery Gang Delivery Strike Motorbike and the Clean Team Street Sweeper. Two very entertaining mid-level vehicles for your Grocery Gang collection. Both radically different if you want something colorful and really sticky, greasy, gross, it's all about the motorbike. However, if you want something clean and pristine, the street sweeper will collect. Now, if I could just find my car keys. Those were disgusting. I took care of it. Well, that's great. Don't worry. We'll get them.
the Grocery Gang Delivery Strike Motorbike, and Clean Team Street Sweeper appear on store shelves late summer 2017 and run 15 apiece. Pick your team and battle it out, rotten or clean, these machines will decide the world's fate. If you collect everything and anything that is the Grocery Gang, these two vehicles are a must. Just remember the responsibility of keeping the dust off the street sweeper. That's what I have to say about that. In the olden times, squirrel stampedes were used as street sweepers. Thanks for watching. Please like, share, subscribe. It's go time, Blueberry. Better wear a helmet, Strawberry.